Today it's time for exercise number four in our eight exercise progression to activating your glutes during the deadlift. Number one was the rock back, right? We're turning our abs on to help shut the hip flexors off. Number two was the hip lift because we're turning our hamstrings to also help shut our hip flexors off. Number three, we brought those feet down to the ground and we did this supine hook lying position leg lift with a reach. That little offset side, let us load it up a little bit more and bringing our feet down to the ground made it look a little bit more like a deadlift and challenged our range of motion. Now, if you've done that one, you're really set up for exercise number four, which is the glute bridge, a classic of physical therapists everywhere. Um, I think this exercise, if I just prescribe this exercise and I say do glute bridges like this, I think this exercise makes people worse. If the glutes aren't turning on because they're not in a position to turn on, then I need to be very particular about how this exercise is being performed. You've been particular already watching the last three videos, learning how to do that little hip tuck without some abs. Yes, finding some hamstrings, finding maybe a little bit of glute tension too without the hip flexor, right? So if I still, if I use this now to set up in my glute bridge and then I hang on to that, I feel this at the bottom, I got this low back pressure in the ground, then I can access my glute muscles. So this is a progression from the last one because now we're increasing the range of motion. Now I need to move my hip more. I'm opposing the hip flexor more as I bridge my hips up, okay? And I might feel a stretch in the front here, but what I really need to feel is some activity back here, and I indeed feel that. The hard part now is what people end up doing is they do this and they meet their tailbone down to the ground first and their low back is still up. I'm kind of exaggerating it. Some people actually look like this. I'm kind of exaggerating it though so that you can see it. So now I'm here, I've lost that position. This exercise is no longer helpful. So I need to make sure that I'm setting everything up again. I got my low back in the ground. I bridge my hips up. I feel my squeeze. I'm gonna hold it for a second to make sure I got it. And then when I come down, I'm trying to come down one vertebra at a time until my hips hit the ground again, okay? And I just initiate with the tailbone again, come up and squeeze, back down one at a time, do it again, come up and squeeze. So this now is extending the hip and allowing me to um, replicate the hip position, the femur motion, that's, that's a leg bone. Uh, replicate the leg bone motion that is required for deadlifting. So exercise number four, glute bridge, but asterisk, make sure you're doing it correctly.